Welcome. We continue our looking at what God has given to us to remind us of his presence. We spoke about the tree at the beginning in Genesis and at the end in Revelation. We spoke about the various trees that we see throughout the scriptures and their value and their fruit and how it is that each one is particular and its gifts and its enduring quality. It was so important that God used these things to reveal his love for us through them. Now, in the book of Revelation, that's an interesting tree because what we see is a new heaven and a new earth. What we see is that there is a river that is running through and on the bank of the river, there are these trees and this tree that gives its leaves 12 months out of the year and fruit 12 months out of the year. Have you ever heard of 12 in our scriptures and in our catechisms? 12, 12 apostles, of course. 12 fruits of the Holy Spirit. Oh. Tree, 12 fruits, the fruitful teaching of the apostles, the fruits of the Holy Spirit that we can live the teaching of the apostles. It says that the leaves are used for medicine, the fruit is good for food, but the fruits, what they represent. Remember we went from the first tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and we end last chapter, the last book, with the fruitful trees that never cease to bear. That is what we are called to be in church. The church of Jesus Christ, washed in the waters of baptism, having gone through our history from the very beginnings and continuing, we have received the fruitful teaching of the apostles on which the church was founded. We have received it from our elders. We hand it on to the young and we live it. We must live it. Oh, and we'll talk about the fruits of the Holy Spirit as we get closer to Pentecost. But I want you to see, when you look out your window, or when you sometimes page through things or watch some of the TV shows, see the trees and see that God speaks to us by his creation. And in our catechism, we can put the two and two together. This is what it means. The Bible, this is what it means. What a great Lent this can be to rediscover that God has built a catechism around us. The Lord's blessing be upon you this week and always. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.